Incredible knockout power. Impeccable defense. The intimidation of the king. Welcome to Storytime with Supa. And today's story is on... The Force of Mike Tyson. See, one of the things that intrigued me most about Mike Tyson's career is the people that he had in his corner. See, when you look at the people that he had in his corner in the beginning of his career, you will see somebody by the name of Customato. See, Customato, he was known as the greatest boxing trainer of all time, at least one of them. See, while Customato was in his corner, Mike Tyson was able to make some of the most difficult champions look easy. He made sure Mike Tyson stayed on the schedule. Even when Mike Tyson didn't feel like doing things, Customato would make sure that he would because he knew that was a part of his job in order to make Mike Tyson's goal the accomplice of being one of the greatest boxers that ever lived. Mike Tyson was a force to be reckoned with. Then came the day when Customato passed away. See, Customato was like a father figure to Mike Tyson. So when Customato passed away, Mike Tyson started putting himself around people that didn't serve him. See, he had somebody in his corner like Don King. See, Don King was the type of individual that didn't care about what you did as long as he was making money. He didn't care about how Tyson reached greatness. He only cared about how great those paychecks would be because Tyson's name would be on the matches. The contrast between Customato and Don King is that Customato will do everything in his power to make sure that you level up, to make sure that the world see you as one of the greatest boxers of all time. But Don King only seen the profit in you, realized how great you was, so he put you under his team so that he could put money in his pocket. So the result of that became, he put himself around drugs, toxic people, gambling, and bad habits, so that when he stepped into rings, he got knocked out by people like Buster Douglas. <laughs> staying accountable to himself as he was when he was with Customato. See, when you put yourself around people that don't really care about you and they're just utilizing you for the benefit, maybe it's because you're pretty, maybe it's because you got money, maybe it's because you're popular. When you put yourself around people that is only looking to hang out with you because of the benefits that you have, then there's a consequence that you may mess up your future. You may jeopardize things that may happen because of the opportunities that lies ahead of you having people block them. Depending on who you put yourself around will determine the quality of your life. You have to stand strong and say, is these people adding value to me? Am I adding value to them? Is this an actual friendship? Are they my confidants? Are they my partners? Or are they my parasites? Are they predators? Are they looking to seek something? We have to put ourselves in a position for us to put the right people in front of us. See, the right person will come into your life to tell you things that you may not want to hear at the moment, but they're telling you so that you can level up. You may not want to work out, but they're going to tell you that you need to get in the gym because they want to see you live as long as possible. You may not want to do the things that you may have to do, but they're going to say that you need to be accountable for the things that you said that you're going to do. You have to find your partners in life in this world full of parasite and predators. People that is willing to take from you or to exploit you. People that is willing to do whatever they can with you for them. So you got to find your custom models. You got to find the right people in your corner. Because if you want to increase the quality of your life, it depends on what you allow into your life. You want good people? You have to decide to have good people. If you want to win, you got to choose the right people in your life. You put yourself around snakes, don't be surprised when you get bit and you start disintegrating the things that you could have in your life. Because being with Don King may look good at first, but in the long term, you will see how they jeopardize your life. So I ask you, who's in your corner? King's mode. Me, if I often say to him, you know, I owe you a lot, he doesn't know what I mean, but I'm going to tell him now what I mean. If he weren't here, I probably wouldn't be alive today. The fact that he is here and doing what he's doing and doing as well as, in, as he's doing and improving as he has gives me the motivation and interest to stay alive. Because I believe that a person dies when he no longer wants to live. But I have a reason with, with Mike here. And he gives me the motivation. I will stay alive and I will watch him become a success. Because I will not leave until that happens.